In this tutorial, we will look at the area command from the inquiry toolbar. The inquiry toolbar is activated and docked to the left. We can use the area command to find the area of any enclosed two-dimensional shape. That could include a polygon, a rectangle, a circle, an ellipse, or anything else that can form an enclosed area. To start, I'll draw a rectangle. Select the rectangle icon from the Draw Toolbar and select two corner points. If I select the rectangle, you can see that it is a single entity or object and not four separate line segments. So I'll press Escape and then select the area icon. The command line is now prompting for the first corner point. We also have a couple of options. In the case where you have a single enclosed object, you can use the object option and then select the object itself. For instance, we can use it to select the rectangle that we drew. So I will type O for object, press enter, and then select the rectangle. And there you see the area and perimeter of this rectangle reported back to us in the command line. To further illustrate, let's say I use the line command and draw a closed shape around the rectangle. Type C and press enter. So here I have a series of connected line segments. Now we can think of this as a plate with a rectangular cutout and we want to find the area of the plate minus the area of the cutout. So I'll click on the area command and first we will indicate that we're looking at some additive area. So type A for the add option and press enter. Now this polygonal shape is composed of individual line segments. It is not a single object. So at this point I need to capture the corner points of the polygon. So I'll turn on the object snaps. Select each point in order. And then press enter. AutoCAD reports back the area of the entire plate. Now I still need to subtract the area of the rectangular cutout. I will type S for subtract and press enter. Because the rectangle is an object, I can use the object option and type O, enter. Click on the rectangle and we see some information reported back to us. Now this is the actual area of the plate minus the cutout. I will press enter and enter again to end the command. To recap, let's look at the text window by pressing F2. I will scroll up to the start of the last area command. And you see, the first thing that I did was use the A option to add areas. Next, I turned on the object snaps and went around the perimeter of the shape, selecting each data point. When I pressed Enter, it reported back the perimeter and total area. Then, I switched modes to subtractive by typing S and used the object option O to select the rectangle. AutoCAD then reported the area of the rectangular cutout and subtracted it from the area of the polygon to give me the actual answer, the area of the plate minus the rectangular cutout. This completes the tutorial on the area command.